When the judge declared a mistrial, the Christopher Clements murder kidnapping trial, it caught many people by surprise, including former jurors in the Maribel Gonzalez trial. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo spoke to two jurors from that trial and is live at the Superior Courts building with their reaction to the mistrial and more. Lupita. Sean Christopher Clements maintains his innocence. That's according to his attorney. At the end of the month, he'll be back here in court. Today. But I know that he is looking forward to another opportunity um, for another trial. Eric Kessler, along with Joseph D. Roberto, represent Christopher Clements. He's always maintained his innocence, um, and he's hoping that he will be exonerated. Kessler says from the jurors' questions, he knew there was a split. However, sources tell News 4 Tucson the final vote was 11 to convict and one to acquit. So it only takes one in a criminal case to hang up a jury. Quite the opposite occurred last fall when these two people sat on the jury that convicted Clements in the murder-kidnapping trial of 13-year-old Maribel Gonzalez. Both sat through the entire Isabel Celis trial. Their reaction to the mistrial. I was really stunned. Uh, extremely disappointing to see a hung jury in this case. Both asked to remain anonymous and both agree after listening to all the evidence they maintain Clements is guilty in the Celis case as well making it even more difficult seeing the Celis family in the courtroom. Extreme pain, extreme hurt in the faces of the family. Uh, and it hurt to see their hurt. Both are hopeful a second trial will have a different outcome. It'll never bring back their child. But if there's any closure to be done, that might help them a little bit. And we just, our hearts are with them. As for the defense. The Sellers case is a very dark, uh, troublesome case for a number of reasons. And I cannot imagine that it was uh, anything but terribly stressful for the Sellers family. The Sellers family issued a statement to News 4 Tucson. It reads, we very much want another trial. We are grateful to the prosecutors for going forward with the second trial because all we want is justice for Isa." The former jurors both agree they want justice as well. Kessler had nothing but praise for the prosecutors and the job they did. And now they're going to have to do it all over again in a second trial. Reporting live from downtown, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.